going on guys back to back and today we got a brand new video with bitcoin because there's some things shaping up on the chart for maybe a move not a lot of people might be expecting as well as just comparing the yearly lows in something that seems very crazy that it's so close to what has happened in the past for bitcoin and then we may have already bought them and be on our way to a much higher price so the bitcoin chart here is the main topic right now as we can see we've been trading in this channel for a long long time many months here and you can just see we've been bouncing off this bottom but the past few weeks have spent all of the time riding the top line here just kind of making higher highs and right here we just barely didn't make a higher high yet it doesn't mean it's not gonna happen but for this day haven't gotten just above this but we are above the upper line of this channel, which has happened before. But we are, uh, if we close above it, could be a good sign that we are getting ready to go even higher, probably pretty quickly. So getting above this line, staying above it, getting up to $28,000, $29,000 could happen pretty quickly in a, a much faster than people probably would expect if it starts to get to moving up. Just like we fell pretty quickly here, could rise just as fast but we are in the weekend now so weekend price action is pretty iffy not really any real decisiveness there when monday comes we'll see much more where the price is probably heading so the weekend might be just pretty steady seems like we're not really moving all of that much uh we, hopefully we do get to stay above this kind of line here above probably 24 what would be around 24 4 basically where we are and continue to get above this line even through the weekend and try and move up from there but also looking at this we could see bitcoin might have bottomed here where we see 17k down here could have been the bottom because we have been in this uptrend for a long time now making higher lows higher highs all the way just continuing this move up would it be shocking to have a move down to 20k 21k not really maybe if the whole market kind of has a turn and some bad news comes out or something bad happens then this move down could probably be pretty quick and it happen but for right now it looks like the market over stock market's in a good place crypto market's in a good place even ethereum here is rallying off of the uh, merge that's happening in like a month so ethereum keeps going up that's uh kind of bringing the whole market with it and bitcoin here just kind of hovering and that's basically what i think we're going to see for the weekend is hovering from 24 24,500 400 maybe if we get to 25k that'd be good we'd be able to uh, set a higher high uh that's probably where we tried to get for the weekend and then when the week comes see how everything reacts how the market's open i think it's probably gonna be pretty green and a pretty quick move up but this bottoming that we've seen is backed up with this right here this chart you can see two simple lines are all you needed to call every market top and bottom of the last 10 years in bitcoin history maybe a pretty big simplification of that but if you look at this you can see i think this is the rsi i'm gonna assume it you can see the uh top here when it was a top on this line hitting the tops here and when we hit the bottom went all the way down was around this line again the bottom of it and then the bull market happened when we had a top reach the top of this red line and then the bottoming was the bottom of the green line you can see this pattern shaping up here every time it's touching the red line it usually indicates a top every time it touches the the green line usually indicates a bottom so right now maybe that 17k is the lowest bitcoin is going to go uh hopefully we don't go below like 20k ever again because that was the previous cycle all-time high it when we're getting near that 20k it's just not a good time so being above that is always good and right now seeing that maybe the bottom is in and that we are actually just on our way trying to head up a little bit higher here just over time it seems like that's what's happening we're having these little rallies into a little sell-off into a higher low into a rally and then just kind of no real price action you're just kind of moving uh move down for like a week straight here and then we're moving back up but nothing no thousand dollar swings or three thousand dollar swings nothing really crazy happening in bitcoin uh and a lot of this could probably be because of this things like ethereum with the merge and a lot of excitement going on there but something else also with kind of this bitcoin chart that maybe we start to see is this inverse head and shoulders if we get a quick move up to 
20 31 thousand you know maybe we get an inverse head and shoulders here and try and move up to back up to like this 48 49,000 who knows but at least this looks like we could be having a quick move to 28 29 and we'll see what happens from there but something pretty interesting does happen when you look at the yearly lows for bitcoin uh you can see this is the chart of it and you see right here is a lower yearly low 2022 then 2021 and that's not usually the case for bitcoin but in 2014 to 2015 it actually was the case for bitcoin where we had a lower low than what was the previous year and if we take that and run all of these numbers we could see that it's actually pretty close to what happened in 2015 so this low was 44.6 percent lower that's what the fall was and right now we're about 40 percent of the difference is 40 percent lower so we're very close very similar to what happened in 2014 2015 as 2021 and 2022 so it, that's already crazy enough that it's very similar you can see how drastic the difference this is hundreds of dollars and then this is 29,000 to 17,000 this chart actually does have it as 19k so it's not updated so I've just put in what was the really the low that we've got so far uh, and this seems to be the lowest it's going to be and if we do the same numbers saying that it's playing out similarly and we have the same kind of increase if we have 44.6 percent is pretty close to 40 percent if we have the same increase here which is 110 percent from 2015 to 2016 that would mean the yearly low for 2023 should be somewhere around $37,000. So if we play this out and we see in 2013 that that is the yearly low of 2023, so we should have a rally going into the end of this year and get above that price for uh, before the year is done. But if we see that this is how it plays out and it's so similar, this is going to be kind of crazy and just see how these numbers interact with each other. So if it plays out like that, then we will know that we can go back and look at these numbers. But for right now, it is ridiculous that we're down pretty much 40% for the lows. And it's pretty close to the last time that we had a lower low. So it's uh, we'll see if it plays out. It's, you know, really doesn't mean much, but it could mean, you know, that Bitcoin's low is in. We're going to have a pretty big rally into the end of the year, maybe. And something to push it into that rally mode would be something like BlackRock, where the $10 trillion fund said Bitcoin's the oldest, largest, and most liquid crypto asset. All true. They are launching a private fund for their, pri for their own clients in BlackRock for Bitcoin. So there's a lot of demand there. There's institutional demand. People want to buy Bitcoin. And BlackRock went through a private fund to launch through themselves because obviously the SEC isn't launching public funds. These ETF spot Bitcoin ETFs have been shot down time and time again. So what is the answer to that is just do your own. BlackRock just making their own private Bitcoin fund that their clients can invest in. So maybe that's the road we go down for, you know, the next couple of years until probably the next having 2024 is a big date for those spot ETFs where we start to see them kind of come back, make a comeback and maybe start getting approved on the stock market for ETFs. And that's going to launch a bunch of money into it. But the private funds is probably where this is going to go. BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity, all these like companies and hedge funds, money managers dumping their clients funds that want to get into Bitcoin, just making their own private funds. And another big milestone reach, just the billionth Bitcoin address used. So just big moves for Bitcoin adoption through the roof, continuing moving up and to the right. But this doesn't mean that there are a billion users on Bitcoin, just a billion addresses that have been used. So obviously one person could have 10 addresses, uh, but it's still a billion, which is a big number, massive milestone, and good to see that Bitcoin is growing up into the right. I think the user base for Bitcoin is like around 100 million. So still massive and great and growing faster than the internet. So we will see how quick this technology continues to take off. So Bitcoin looking like it's in a pretty good spot. The chart shaping up for maybe a quick move up to almost $30,000 and the yearly lows being strikingly similar and very close to each other for the one other time that this has happened in Bitcoin's history. So we'll see how it all plays out. If it plays out similarly and we have the $40,000 yearly low for 2023, it would be great news for people that are in Bitcoin because the price is uh, 
not going lower than 40k for 23 2024 is the having and that could mean an explosion from 40k being the base target or the base starting point is going to be pretty big so big moves for bitcoin ahead but that's gonna do it for this video guys as always don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and you're to 1000 subscribers and i'll see you guys in my next